Good morning. <clears throat> Why is this so... Jeez. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Teamy Training Tuesday. I am your star director, Colleen Regan. And um, today, we're going to talk about keeping it simple, sis. Okay? So I just watched, um, I was watching a live training on, um, you guys may or may not know, Patty Morrow. She's my bestie. And um, she had an SSD on her page doing a live training and um, a very successful SSD. And uh, she was talking about keeping it simple. And uh, as I'm listening to her, I'm like, yes. And we, I always go back to this. Always, always, always go back to this. And honestly, guys, I attribute any success that I've had in this business to keeping it simple, honestly. Um, we talk about the three legs of success all the time, and I literally have it. Okay. I'm like, I literally have it right here. Oh, here we go. The three legs of success. Okay. Boop. And you can find it. Uh, you can find it on this group. You know what? I'm going to see if I can. I'm just going to do something real quick. Real quick. want to I'm trying to do something here no it's not gonna work um okay we talk about the three legs of success and um for your business in order to have an actual successful business you guys like you can get your sensi at a discount you can make a little bit of money here and there but if you're in this to build a business and you know that's what i'm here for i'm here to build a business i'm here to you know really put my best foot forward and make as much money as i can build a successful um you know multi-level marketing business for myself that will change everything for me and my family and it has it already has and it's been six years but when you think about Sensi and what you need to do all the time, okay, um, number one is sales, okay? Number two is sponsoring and recruiting. And number three is coaching or training, okay? And that's all you really need to look at. So I know it gets so easy. And this, this live video that um, she did totally inspired me because I was like, what am I going to talk about for Teeny Training Tuesday? And guys, you may have heard me talk about this a million times already, but the message always stays the same, okay? And I know because it's like the summertime or going into the summertime, it, things can be dead if you let them, okay? Your business can take a screeching halt if you let it. Okay. Um, and then we start to act desperate to get paid at title or to like, you know, hit an incentive or whatever it is. We start making desperate moves. We start reaching out to people when we need them. And, you know, you just act super desperate and it's not a good look for a long-term sustainable business. Okay. So, we get on social media, we see all the things that everybody's doing. Everybody's doing a million different things. You know, there's grab bags, there's um, mystery hostess parties, there is um, 
you know, different specials that people are running. There's all sorts of things that you see everybody else doing, right? So many different things. Um, and then you start comparing yourself and then you, you look at somebody else and you're like, well, they're successful or what you think is successful, but how do you really know? Right. Unless you see their numbers. And that's what the SSD was talking about. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So you start comparing yourself to everybody and think, oh, if they're doing that and they're successful, then I should do that. And then you start doing all these extra things and things that maybe aren't even your cup of tea or aren't even your strong suit or, you know, things that feel like more like a chore to you instead of, you know, working your business the way that you know you need to, the way that, you know, you know you're going to see results from and when I say all the time, like anybody can work this business because anybody can, because there's, there's a few things that you need to do when you're working your business. Okay. And we get so caught up sometimes, especially when you, during this time of year, right. When, when you're really not pushing or when you feel like things aren't coming as naturally or as easily as they do in the fall, right? you like, well, this doesn't work. Nobody wants to do this. Nobody wants to do that. Those are lies we tell ourselves to justify our excuses, okay? So listen, you got to keep it simple, sis. you got to go back to the three legs of success. Stop reinventing the wheel. Stop looking at what, you know, she, 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 and she's doing. And do what you need to do. Okay, which is booking parties. And I say this all the time, you guys. Okay, if you want to build a business, you've got to start booking parties, period, period. Okay, we are a party planning business. And there's so much more, you know, that goes along with your business. You know, obviously, social media is a massive part of our business, right? Like we are able to captivate an audience that we normally wouldn't see on a day-to-day -day basis, right? We can target our audience on who, you know, we relate to the most, who relates the most to us, right? So that's great. But if you're just doing, uh, you know, if you're not doing parties, how are you meeting new people? How are you meeting new people? Because I guarantee, even if you're, you know, if you're meeting like one new person a month, guys, that's not enough. That's not enough. Okay. If you want to build a business, which is what I'm here for, and that's who I'm talking to right now, you've got to start booking parties and stop trying to get around it because that is what is going to help you make money. That is what is going to help you build a business. That is what is going to help you expand your customer base. That is what is going to help you offer the opportunity. That is what is going to help you build your team. That is what is going to help you want people joining your team. That is what is going to help you keep your business moving and not die because you have so many customers to follow up with. Guys, We've got to get back to booking parties, okay? And the whole reason why Sensi is a party planning business, right, is because we offer host rewards, which is getting people their Sensi for free and half off, okay? So even if, like, you need to have your launch party, and if you haven't had your launch party, you guys, you're literally wasting your time, okay? You need to have your launch party, and then from there, out of one of your closest family or friends, they book a party. And then they invite their closest family and friends. And then at their party, you book, try to book two parties from that party by offering an incentive for that group of people, okay? Everybody knows seven to 10 people you don't know. Listen, the people that buy Sensi from me, okay? I mean, yeah, I have a few close family and friends, but not really. Honestly, the people... I wouldn't be making like thousands of dollars a month from just my inner circle. That's for sure. Okay. I told you my launch party consisted of three people and I was devastated. Okay. And if I let that determine what my next move was, I wouldn't be here and you wouldn't either. You wouldn't be on this team. Okay. So listen, guys, you got to keep it simple. Go back to booking parties. That's where you need to put your effort. Okay. Is opening up a calendar 
having a planner in front of you and marking down all the things that you have to do for the next month or two. Okay. And then it is up to you to designate time for your business. How bad do you want to be successful? How bad do you need money? How bad do you want to quit that job? How bad do you want to stay home with your kids? How bad do you want to get out of date, out of debt? Excuse me. How bad do you want to play? Do you want to pay for that wedding? How bad do you want to go on, you know, trips? How bad do you want to not live check to check? How bad? Okay. I'm telling you what works, you guys. And it's keeping it simple. Okay. And if you're going to beat around the bush and go in circles because you feel uncomfortable asking people to book parties. So you're going to do all this other stuff that makes you feel busy. Well, I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. And yes, you can get sales from you know, grab bags. And those things are great for like extra PRV for the month. But listen, the objective for your business and building a a big business, okay, is you need to meet new people constantly. Okay. If you're not networking and meeting people, how are you expanding your customer base? That means you're going to rely on the same exact people. And then you're going to say, well, nobody wants, nobody wants to buy Sensi you know, or like all my customers bought Sensi last month. So this month is going to be slow. No, what that means is you're not booking parties. Okay. So when I look, if you want, if people do coaching calls with me, I pull up your information before I get on, on a call with you and I go back four or five months and I look at your sales and I can tell from your sales month after month after month. Okay. If you're booking parties, Because you guys, it should be your main focus. When you sit down to work every day, okay, you pull open that planner or that calendar, okay, and you look at those days that you have put aside for your business. You have to put time aside for your business if you want to be successful, okay? If you want a successful business, you have to, you have to work your business, you guys. If you want a successful business, you've got to work your business, okay? You have to put time aside for it. Yes, things happen. Yes, life gets busy. But when you don't put time aside to work your business consistently, your business is actually regressing quicker than it's growing, okay? And I'm speaking from experience because it's happened to me too, okay? I've let my life I've let my situations or or circumstances at the moment um, dictate my effort. And I'm the only one that suffers for that. My pay suffers for that. And then maybe I'm not going to be able to say yes to all the things I want to do that month because I'm used to making a certain amount of money, right? And when I don't work my business or when I slack off or when I don't make time to work my business or when I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses and do what she's doing and she's doing and she's doing, instead of doing what I know works and what I know I need to do to complete uh, to do the things that are going to help me right now, today, this week, this month, next month, in this year, in next year, it's booking parties, you guys. I really highly encourage you guys to stop looking in other places for your sales, okay? Because instead of going for that one order, book a party. You should be offering parties to everybody, okay? And if you're not booking parties and you're a leader, okay, then that means... Most likely the people on your team aren't booking parties either because you're not. So you're not telling them that parties are successful and that's the way to run a successful business is parties because you're not doing it. So most likely your team's not moving. Okay, guys, I want everybody to really take another look at this. Print this out and keep it near you as a reminder to keep it simple, sis, okay? Keep it simple. Parties, events, parties, events. Get stuff on your calendar before that month, okay? So you can you can host coach appropriately, 
okay? So you can, once you have the party booked, then you can really work on making the party successful. And you can think about what you're going to do when you have that party or how you're going to network with the people in that party, okay? Even if it's online and you're not face-to-face, -face, how are you going to network with those people online? How are you going to add them to your you know, social media platform, and then your customer VIP group. How are you going to communicate with them? How are you going to start a dialogue with them? You know, how how are you going to do all these things, okay? Because you, you've got to get the parties on the calendar first. Front load, okay? Guys, if you don't know where to start in your business, and you're sick of the excuses, and you're sick of not making money, and you're sick of like, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. guys. The first thing you need to do is open up a calendar, a planner, whatever you use. If you use if you use a planner on your phone, you know, whatever you use, open that up, that something that you're actually going to use, okay? And put down everything that you have going on that month and the next month that is like you already have that booked as a prior obligation, you know, for your family or whatever you have going on personally in your life. And then you make time. You make time. If you're busy and you don't have just a bunch of days waiting around for you to book parties, well, you make time. You make time. Guys, you're building a business, okay? This is a business. You're considered a business owner, an independent business owner. Like legit, you guys, you are your own boss. And if you're already here and you already joined, I want you to think about that for a second. You're already here. You already joined, okay? And the money that you can make, the money that is at your fingertips, the, the opportunity that you have in front of you on the table that you're not tapping into or that you're walking away from is wasteful. You could do so much. You could do whatever you want to do in your life. Because yes, I'm financially motivated, but it is more about the time for me. It's more about the, the, the freedom of the time. That's what really motivates me ultimately is to have the money to be able to do whatever I want. I don't want to answer to a boss. I don't want to have to leave my house if my kids are sick. I don't want to have to, you know, find a babysitter so I can go into work. I don't want to pay somebody so I can go to work and watch my kids, you know, like if they're not in school. If I don't want to abide by the COVID protocols in the state of Massachusetts for school systems, I want to be able to homeschool my kids. And I do, right? I want to be able to do what I want to do with my life. But that means working, you guys. You have to work to have a successful business. And if you want to sit around and chill all summer long, guess what? Your business is going to die. That sounds dramatic, but I'm telling you, you know, this is just a little wake up call for everybody. Because I know across the board numbers are low, but I want to give you just like a little reality check that you can do this, but you have to get up and do it. You have to make time for it. Okay. I know we go through like, you know, I, guys, I have seasonal depression. I have anxiety all the time, all the time, like literally take medication. I homeschool. My husband works all the time. He's barely home. I know what it's like, but I also know that I don't, I, I don't want to go back to a nine to five. Never, never. Because now I can determine what I get paid. I determine what I get paid by my effort. Okay. And there's no cap on it. And I can actually work less with Sensi and make more than when I worked a nine to five and not be home in, you know, paid salary, which means I could be working a thousand hours a week. They don't care, right? Guys, it's time to step up. It's time to step up and work your business, okay? Yeah, sure. You can, 
if you're a leader, you guys, you, you, you have to learn to check yourself. I have to check myself all the time. You have to be honest with yourself all the time. If you're a leader, what kind of example are you setting for your team? Are you working consistently, right? If you don't want to work your business and you want to chill this summer, cool. But then when you want to pick up your business and work it, when you feel like it, then guess what? It's going to be 10 times harder to get back on the ball. Trust me. And I think you already know that. Okay. And guys, if this is striking a chord with you, okay, and you're feeling some sort of way about what I'm saying, then maybe you need to hear it. I need to hear it. I need to hear it, you guys. Okay? We've got to stop with the excuses. Keep it simple. Stop running in circles thinking you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that. No, you got to keep busting your ass and showing up and asking, 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 and asking until you book the parties. That's what you do. And then you network with those people like it's your job because it is. Because it is. And that is what is going to help you build a super successful business. You don't have to do all these things. What you need to do is book the parties. You got to front load your calendar, get your calendar out, get your planner out, and make time for your business. That's what you need to do. Okay? I know everybody feels a certain kind of way right now about their business. I can see it. I can see it in the numbers. But You've got to be better than that. Did you come this far to come this far? Are you just going to let it go because what? Because you're not motivated. You don't feel like it. You're a little busy. Your kids have sports. Your kids are sick. I know. I know. But honestly, you guys, those are really excuses. They really are. I mean, I'm sorry. I get it. I understand it. Trust me. Like, I have to talk myself out of those excuses all the time. I know, right? But think about it. The most, the, the people that are like screaming success in this business, like, I mean, we literally know people that make $70,000 a month in Sensi. Like, yeah, yeah. And do you think for one second those people just have a crap ton of free time? And people are banging down their door to book parties. No, they fought for their business. They made time for their business when they didn't have time for their business. They worked even when they didn't feel like it. Okay. Even when nobody on their team was showing up, they still hit the pavement hard to make their business work because they wanted more than the situation they were in. Okay. And guys, I will be that person to tell you the truth. Because if I'm just telling you, oh, that's okay. I understand. I know life is busy. I do know. And I do understand. And I do sympathize with you. But guess what? I'm here, right, to, to be the kind of leader that I want. And that is to tell you the truth and love you. And a lot of you, I know what your goals are. And you're settling hard. You're settling hard. For what reason? I don't know. I don't know. And then, you know, it's when you want to get back into it, you feel so disconnected. You don't even know where to start. Well, stop giving up. Stop giving up. That's the first thing. Okay. And keep it simple. Go back to booking parties. Like when you first joined, book the parties. Whatever you're doing right now, put it down. Put it down. You don't, even need, you, don't, you don't even need to make samples right now. Put it down. No more flyers. Put it down. Put it down. Book the parties. Open up the planner. Open up the calendar. Make time. Book the parties. And keep it as simple as possible. And then when you book the parties, you host coach. And then, you know, you follow up with those people. And then you add them to your social media platform. And then you become relatable to them. And... You know, you get to know these people and you book parties through those people and then you book parties through those people. And next thing you know, you have a customer base of 500 people 
and your team is growing because you're meeting so many new people that see what you're doing and want to be a part of it because you're being successful, right? They see how simple it is that they could do it too. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Go back to booking parties, okay? Book the parties, you guys. You can choose what kind of parties you want to do, but listen, you need to be doing some kind of party where you're meeting people. You're meeting people. And your number one priority when you sit down to work your business every month is front-loading that calendar with parties. Okay? I love you all very dearly, okay? Um, and across the board, there is like something going on. So we need to wake up, you guys. We need to f stop feeling sorry for ourselves. We need to just get up and work. And if you don't, I mean, honestly, like we're the only ones that are going to suffer the consequences of not working consistently. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so you have to decide what you want. What do you want more? You want a successful business or do you want to make excuses? It's really what it boils down to, okay? And I'm not coming at anybody. I'm not coming at anybody. I Like these are the things I need to say to myself when I literally say, guys, at the end of the day, you know what you're putting into your business. At the end of the day, you know how much you're working and if you've put in your all. And I would bet $100 for every single person on this team that you're not because I'm not. Because I'm not. So is this summer going to be a wash for you and you're just going to kick up your feet and chill and pretend like it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter what you do with your business because you can just start again when the summer's over. Guess what? You're not going to start again when the summer's over because you're already going to be mentally checked out and not really care. And you're not going to have a great fall because you're just, people are going to buy Scentsy from somebody else, you guys, honestly. So you need to think about these things. And I'm here to love and support you and be honest with you and push you to your goals and push you to your version of success. I don't, my goals are completely different than yours. I don't, maybe we do have similar goals. I don't know, but you got to stop giving up on them. When it gets too hard, you give up on them. When you've asked three people if they want to book a party and they don't respond or they say no, you give up the idea of booking a party. No, go back to booking parties. The message I'm, I'm telling you today is to keep it simple and book the parties. Front load your calendars. And you ask everybody, everybody, because what, if we get on a call, I'm going to ask you, how many people have you asked? Because that is the real question. How many people have you asked? Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot of people. Okay? You will come to a point in your business where you don't have to ask as many people. But guess what, guys? If you haven't been booking parties, it's going to take you a minute to get back on that wagon and get the ball rolling. So start now. Start now. It's May. All right? Like, you don't want to have a shitty summer. You don't. Because you're going to feel bad for yourself. But honestly, guys, at the end of the day, we're responsible for our own businesses, our own success. Okay? You can have an amazing business that you are so proud of that you wouldn't even believe that you've built with all the doubt and fear and hesitation, but you did it anyway because you had your blinders on, you put your head down, you worked, and you did what was simple. And what I'm telling you is, is, is what will work for you. Book the parties. Go back to booking the parties, okay? I promise. Get, get back to that space, and you'll see the results. I promise you. I promise you. So don't say people don't want to buy, people don't want to book parties. That's not true. It's because you're not asking. And if you are, you're not asking enough people, okay? It's time to meet people. It's time to grow. It's time to do everything that we haven't been doing for a long, for a long time now. And that's a lot of us. And that's myself included. Okay? It's time to get up and it's time to It's it's time to level up. Honestly. Okay? 
So if you're ready to do this, like, please comment below. Don't watch this. Don't say nothing. You know, I can see who sees this. So like, guys, stop scrolling. The more you engage, the more you comment, the more you share what you're doing, you know, the more successful you're going to be in your business, honestly, because you're keeping your business relevant by talking about your business, by thinking about your business. Okay. Don't, don't be, you know, an observer, participate in your own business. Okay. I love you guys. Happy Tuesday. Okay. You still have plenty of time to make this an amazing month. Go look at your numbers, see what you got to do and go do it. And don't say I'm going to start June 1st, like bullshit. Start now, start now and make it happen. And, and turn your whole mentality and mindset around that summer's going to be slow. No, it's not. It's not. You're letting it be slow if that's the case. Okay. Don't come at yourself with those negative thoughts, with that, with that crap that you fill your mind with and justify because it's, it's, it's a lie. Okay. It is what you let it be. That's it. Period. So I love you guys. I'm late to start school today. We had a few things going on. I got to get school going. But um, yeah, comment below if you're ready, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Whatever it takes, just go and do it. It's not that hard. Honestly, it's not that hard. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own way and make time. You've got to make time for your business. All right. Talk to you later.